students, how are you? I'm sure you've been very busy in school with so much to do. I'm Miss Sonia, your Form 2 English tutor. Welcome to ITTV. Now students, the most important part of English is writing and writing includes the parts of speech. The next lesson is going to be all about the parts of speech. Now, pay attention to me. If you can't keep up, please write down some notes as we go along. Let's look at what parts of speech are all about. Now, there are eight parts of speech. Noun, adjective, pronoun, verb, adverb, conjunction, preposition and interjection. Once again, noun, adjective, pronoun, verb, adverb, conjunction, preposition and interjection. Now what are all these parts of speech about? Let's go through it one by one. Let's start with nouns. Okay. Nouns are words used as a name of a person, place or thing. For example, Mahatma Gandhi was a great leader. Penang is the Pearl of the Orient. The rose smells sweet. Now students, for your knowledge, under the heading for things is included objects that we can see, hear, taste, touch or smell. And sometimes it is things we can think of but cannot be perceived by our senses. For example, the word love is a noun. It is a word but you cannot see. Let's go on to the next part of speech. Adjective are words used to add something to the meaning of a noun. Basically, it describes a noun. For example, he is such a funny person. Students, look at this example. It says he is a funny person. So funny is the adjective. There are two girls in the room. There are two girls in the room. On to our next part of speech, which is pronouns. There are several types of pronouns, but today I'm just introducing pronouns to you. Let's go into what pronouns are. Pronouns are words used instead of a noun. For example, John is ill, but he is still at work. The books are where you last saw them. Now, the next part of speech is the verb. Now, the verb is the most important part of the sentence. A verb is primarily used to show an action. Now, what are actions? Different types of actions like running, jogging, skipping, flying. Let's take a look at more examples, shall we? Now, like I said earlier, a verbs are words used to express an action or a state. For example, my mother runs every morning. A hummingbird can fly very fast. I wish I could be smart. Adverbs are words used to add something to the meaning of a verb an adjective or another adverb. For example, he worked quickly. This flower is very beautiful. She pronounced the word quite correctly. Now, let's move on to prepositions. Now, what are prepositions? Prepositions link nouns pronouns and phrases to other words in a sentence. 
the word or phrase that the preposition introduces is called the object of the preposition. Here are some examples of prepositions. In, on, above, under, off, and at. Let's look at some of these words in sentences. Like I said earlier, prepositions are words used with a noun or a pronoun to show how the person or thing denoted by the noun or pronoun stands in relation to something else. For example, the little girl is in the house. The little girl is fond of music. Now the third example is, the book is on the table. And the fourth, the roof is above my head. Now, let me further explain to you on how to use the preposition above and on. Watch my action. This is a flower. The flower is on the book. The flower is on the book. This is a flower. The flower is above my head. The flower is above my head. Now you use these words on and above to show where a certain object is. I think you got it. Let's go on to the next part of speech. Now next we'll go on to conjunctions. Conjunctions are words used to join words or sentences. Some of the examples of conjunctions are and, but, or, nor, for, so, and yet. Look at the example. The sentence says, Rama and Hari are cousins. Now the conjunction and connects both Rama and Hari into one sentence. Let's look at the next one. Two or three people are needed for assistance. Now, the conjunction OR connects the options of two or three people. Next sentence. I am going to the market, but my mother is not. I am going to the market, but my mother is not. Now, if you look at this sentence, the sentence actually can become two sentences, but the conjunction but joins both the sentences to become one. Now let's go on to interjection. What are interjections? An interjection is a word added to show emotions. It is not grammatically related to any other part of the sentence. Let's look at some examples. Interjections are words which express our sudden feeling. Let's look at some examples. Hurrah! We have won the game. As you can see, the interjection is hurrah. The word is always followed by an exclamation mark. Next, alas, she is dead. What do you think is the interjection? Yes! The word alas. Next, ouch, that hurts. Ouch, that hurts. Now, the interjection for this sentence is ouch. The fourth sentence, oh no, I forgot the exam was today. Oh no, I forgot the exam was today. The interjection is, oh no. Now students, I've given you a quick overview on what the parts of speech are all about. Now just to test you, let's attempt to do an exercise. Are you ready? As always, before we start an exercise, we must read the instructions. The instructions to this exercise says, identify the parts of speech 
in the following sentences. The clown chased a dog around the ring and then fell on his face. The geese waddled across lazily. Oh dear, I'm late for class. Sui Lan's shabby dictionary was lost. My daughter stomped out of the room angrily. Late that night, she asked herself, What was I thinking of? She thought that the 20 plants were so beautiful. Although I spent a lot of time with my mother, she still seemed unhappy. The lawyer was so famous that he did not need a name card. And the last one, the restaurant is big enough for everyone. Now, was that too hard? I'm sure you got all your answers correct. Let's check the answers, shall we? The clown chased a dog around the ring and then fell on his face. Now, what part of speech would explain the sentence? Yes, noun. The ring is a noun. Let's go on. The geese waddled across lazily. Now, what do you think the answer is? Yes, it is an adverb. The word lazily is an adverb. Oh dear, I'm late for class. I'm sure you got this answer correct. Yes, it is an interjection. The word oh dear shows an emotion. Sui Lan's shabby dictionary was lost. The answer is adjective. Shabby dictionary. It shows that the dictionary was shabby, which makes it an adjective. My daughter stomped out of the room angrily. What do you think the answer is? Yes, the verb is stomped. Late that night, she asked herself, what was I thinking of? Now, the answer is pronoun. What do you think is the pronoun here in this sentence? Yes, it is the word she. She thought that the 20 plants were so beautiful. And the answer is adverb describing adjective. The adjective is beautiful and the adverb is so. Although I spent a lot of time with my mother, she still seemed unhappy. The answer is conjunction. The word which is a conjunction is although. The lawyer was so famous that he did not need a name card. What do you think the answer is? Yes, the word famous is the adjective. And the last question, the restaurant is big enough for everyone. And the answer is a noun, the word restaurant. Well, that wasn't too hard, right? Now, if you think that what you just learned was hard, just remember to revise every day and learn one part of speech. And before you know it, you will definitely get the eight parts of speech. Just before we leave, I'd like to recap on what we learned today. Now, let's look at the different parts of speech. You have your nouns, pronouns, adjective, verbs, adverbs, prepositions, conjunctions, and interjections. Nouns are people, places, things, events, and ideas. Pronouns are words used instead of a noun. You have your adjective, which describes or limit nouns and pronouns. 
This is followed by verbs, which shows action, thought, emotions, or state of being. Your adverb modifies verbs, adverbs, and adjectives, which follows by prepositions, link, nouns, pronouns, and phrases to other words in a sentence. Conjunctions join two or more words or sentences. And lastly, interjections. These are strong emotion or surprise words. Now, that was a chart showing different parts of speech. I really hope you enjoyed today's lesson. Remember, practice makes perfect. Thank you for watching ITTV. Till we meet again, I'm Miss Sonia, your English tutor.